All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. Uh, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 234 pounds. Fighting out of Bucharest, Romania, presenting the challenger, the Nightmare. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. 
just out of range with that right hook. Single collar tie now. A good job defensively there to block the strike by Nermago Medov. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, beautiful hook. Head kick. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control the fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Minutes remain in round one. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Give me those hard kicks. Hard kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Over and over, he's landed. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Big kick. Oh, eats a knee. Look at him drive his shit into his own body with that body kick. 90 seconds to go. Head kick land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And there comes the separation now. Beautiful body kick. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Just misses with the straight right. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he lands. Only starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful one. Ten seconds now in round one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more Ready? of the same? And by Ready? that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the 
the opposition is going to lower that bar or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage from the opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, the Bieber Magomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting lands off. Flush right hand is true. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big kick. Chop him down with the low kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Cable injured right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Takedown defense holds up. It's such a fast leg kick. Single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in court. He mixed it up. He went five minutes on the corner low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, right in the mouth. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is a... a nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. It could never be a stationary target. So even as a feet you got to be ready to slip the head at a moment. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and he's starting to find his range here in the pocket. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Beautiful body kick. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Back and forth we go. Let's get going. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Bobby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. And this might just be a matter of time. Top pressure being applied here. Well, he's in a couple. Oh, man, as effective a straight punch as we That is it! Unbelievable! He's done, he's done! What a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Watching this one back, let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night.
Bruce Buffer has your decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.